In this video, I'm going to go over how to add a compare to to the card class. Um, this is necessary in order to sort cards in the deck class because cards are objects and we cannot use less than or greater than or equals uh, equals equals with the with objects. Um, cards are objects. We have to uh, have some other way of comparing whether one card is greater than or less than another card, and we use the compare to method for that. Now, the card class already has a matches method that we could use for testing for equality, um, and we should actually make sure that the this is actually the same thing as an equals method. We could call this equals, and this would this would function like other equals methods. Um, so I'm going to do that. But um, so the compare to method should be consistent with the equals method in, in that when two cards are equal, uh, the compare to method should return zero. And if the equals method says they're, um, they're equal, uh, then compare to should return zero, what I just said. Okay, so let's, let's look at a very simple version of compare to. Um, which simply compares the point value of the card, which is, might be reasonable as an approach to this. So um, we're going to return one from the compare to method. Notice it returns an int if uh, this, the, the card, the current card, is greater than the other card. All right. So you can think of this as subtraction, where you're subtracting the other card from this. So if this is greater than that, you're going to get a positive number. If they're equal, you're going to get a zero from the subtraction. And if this is smaller than the other card, uh, you're going to get a negative one. All right? So here we have this implemented down here. If this dot point value is greater than the other card's point value, we're going to return a one. Else, if this dot point value equals equals the other card dot point value, we, we return a zero. Else, we return negative one. All right? And this will actually sort the cards. But it would, it will, the way it will sort them is it will put like all the cards with a point value of one together, and their uh, their suit position um, will it will not be sorted. So it wouldn't like do like the one of spades, the one of hearts, the one of diamond clubs, the one of diamonds consistently. Now that you might not want to do that, that was fine. Okay. So another way to sort cards might be by within a suit to sort them by point value. Right, and that would I'll leave that as an exercise for any of you to figure out if you want to do it that way. It's kind of a fun challenge. Um, a hint for that is you might to make it easier is you could in the constructor uh, when you're constructing each card you could check the have an if else block that checks the card suit the suit of the card. And, uh, and have a field like suit value, which is set depending upon what the, uh, the suit is equal to, right? So if the suit is, say spades has the highest priority, or so you say if suit is uh, uh, spades, eek dot equals spades, then suit value equals one, okay? Uh, Else, if suit equals hearts, suit value equals two, right? And then, and then that would make um, it easier to modify your compare to, to so that you could sort by both suit and by point value, right? But uh, this is this is all uh, this is a working compare to method here. Uh, I should note that you need to add as your book points out um, in chapter 14, where it discusses compare to, you need to add up here uh, that, that, that if you're going to have a compare to method, you want to do implements comparable, which is uh, what's known as an interface. And you don't need to know what that is now. But it's basically, think of it as a contract saying that if, if uh, you need to specify the type that you're working with, which is this type, right? Uh, it, it's basically a contract that says, if you, if you put this up here, 
then you have implemented uh, the compare to method in your code. And um, oh, don't forget the semicolon. Okay. And uh, so now I can compare two cards, and uh, and they will, uh, based upon the point value, uh, I can find out. You know, it returns one if if the card calling this method is greater than the card that's used as a parameter, and so on. Okay. So you need to do this uh, in order to implement sorting in the deck class. Hope that gets you started.